Now in this lecture, we'll talk about marketing strategy, how you go about having a plan, long-term plan for implementing the marketing concept. To implement the marketing concept and to build customer relationships, a business needs a business needs to developing develop a marketing strategy. This is a plan of action for developing, pricing, distributing, and promoting its products and services that meet specific customer needs. This definition has two major components. First of all, selecting the target market that you're going to try to address, that is who are the people or the companies whose needs you're going to satisfy. That varies. Old people have different needs than young people. Large industrial firms have different needs than technology firms, etc. Okay. Um, this has two components, selecting the target market and then developing the appropriate marketing mix to satisfy that market. And in that satisf satisf satisfaction plan, you have to figure out how you're going to address the market, which means how do you actually get messages to those people in your target market about what you're selling and why it meets their needs. This uh, two-way interaction. Depending on the type of business that you work for, other, business, other businesses can also be your customer. Businesses buy products to resell, to use in production of other products, or for use in their operations. While the marketing concepts are the same for both business and consumers, there are complexities to the business market that need to be considered if that is the marketplace you're going after. Customer populations in the business marketplace are smaller than the consumer market. Products tend to be highly technical. That is, they're satisfying some internal need of the organization rather than a person. Um, and the buyer tends to be to have a highly technical understanding of what its needs and wants are. So how the product affects the rest of the business is one of the important things that you have to understand in the marketing channel. These are all important characteristics of the business market. Businesses also tend to buy in larger quantities than consumers and long-term long, <clears throat> long relationships are necessary because organizations tend to have an ongoing need for some supply they use in developing their products or for the retail products or the products they put in their retail uh, marketplace. So let's talk about selecting your target market. A market is a group of people who have a need the purchasing power and the desire and authority to spend money on a good or a service or on ideas. A target market is a more specific group of consumers or users, potential customers, on whose needs and wants the customer decide the company decides to focus its marketing ex marketing efforts. Some firms use a total market approach in which they try to appeal to everyone and assume that all buyers have similar needs and wants. The sellers of salt, sugar, agricultural products, for example, use a total market approach because everyone is a potential buyer of uh, potatoes, for example. That's a, the total market approach. Most firms, though, use something called market segmentation. They divide the total market into groups of people that have different needs and wants. So you can understand the specific segment that you're targeting. You might say you're targeting college students, for example, versus uh, uh, middle-aged professionals. There might, there's a different segments. They would want to buy different things for their, to support their, their, uh, their activities, if you will. A market segment, then, is a collection of individuals, groups, or organizations who share one or more characteristics and thus have a relatively similar product needs and desires. Women, as opposed to men, for example, are the largest market segment with 51% of the U.S. Par US population. At the household level, segmentation can identify each woman's social attributes, their culture, their stages in life, and this, this helps to determine how their preferences might be different than other segments. 
The reason you're doing segments is because you can't identify an individual customer. That's one customer. There's not enough revenue in one customer. So you're looking for common attributes among a group of people that make up a market segment, which can be profitable for you to provide a product and service for. Another market segment, which many marketers focus on, for example, is the growing Hispanic population in the United States. One of the challenges for marketing in the future will be to address the increasingly racially diverse population in the United States. It creates a lot more segments with different sorts of cultural backgrounds and, and wants and desires that you, meet, you can meet in terms of developing your segmentation strategy. So let's look at this overall. There's three basic ways to think about market strategy. You have the total market approach, generally something like commodities that everybody needs. Everybody needs different kinds of food stuff, for example, potatoes, milk, that sort of thing. Um, it, but even actually when you think about it, milk, not everybody can drink milk. So there's some segmentation that goes on there. But by and large, these large scale things like sugar, cooking products, that sort of thing, everyone needs. Then you might decide that you want to target a single segment and just, just sell into one particular segment. Uh, Tesla Motors, for example, sells electric cars into this one particular segment. They're thinking about moving into other segments, which is the third one here, where we talk about how selling, in the case of Tesla, they're thinking about putting solar cells and entering a different kind of product market. Still, the general market for them, their target market, is this, this um, the idea of uh, socially conscious or new energy, electric uh, electric uh, generation of energy. And so they're thinking about that general market, but then a segment for automobiles and a segment for batteries, for example, or solar panels. So that's the, the other possibility is a company that decides to go after multiple segments. Toyota, for example, has their general purpose car where they try to sell to a lot of people uh, with uh, modest incomes or uh, regular Kind of average incomes then you have they have high end for lexus and low end for the scion group of uh, of sales that they have multiple segments other clothing goods would have segments for men for women for old men for young men for old women for young women for working women for uh, college age women so you have different segments that you can have those are the ways that you think about how the how one develops their market strategy dividing the, the target market up into specific groups to frame the marketing message to understand their unique needs and frame the message to show them how your product or service meets their needs. And those needs may be different than other people's needs. That's the, why the need for segmentation. Next lecture, we'll talk more about the segmentation process.